Hey guys, tonight we're gonna to show you how easy it is to make a delicious, quick, shawarma marinated chicken thigh dinner with herb buttered seasoned rice and mixed vegetables. It's gonna be good. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Todd. This is Greenhorn Barbecue Beer. Uh, Deb, my better half, my lovely wife, is off camera taking care of some business. And tonight we're gonna to show you how easy it is for a weeknight dinner that does not skimp on flavor. The shawarma marinated chicken thighs, yes, it's pre-packaged, but guys, during the week, who's got time to marinade? Well, some of us do, but not everybody. This is the perfect solution. We're gonna put it over some delicious herb buttered seasoned rice that we're gonna steam on our rice cooker, and we're gonna have some mixed vegetables straight out of the freezer, but again, Sassy's gonna be putting her magic on it to make it nice and herb seasoned, uh, just lightly boiled or blanched for him. It's gonna be good. Before we get any further, folks, if you could do us a favor, one way you can support the channel is by smashing that subscribe button, turning on your notifications so you don't miss a thing. Folks, it's absolutely free, costs you nothing, and hey, you get to watch us. And one more thing, folks, before I go any further, Smartro sent me this awesome new uh, wireless meat thermometer. It is the X50. It's got 500 feet uh, range. There's four probes, four channels, splash proof. Um, it is wireless, it has a little wire sensor there. In a future video, we're gonna be doing a very thorough review of this. Something I just love about these smart trolls is that they're inexpensive and they're just as accurate as their much more expensive brethren. Folks, don't break the bank, folks. Get what works and let me tell you, those things work. All right, guys. Uh, I got that charcoal chimney just uh, huffing away. You know, it's a large chimney um, and I only filled it up uh, maybe three quarters of the way. Um, and as you can see, I'm using that uh, ridge charcoal. Uh, and here's my little rinky dinky uh, wood pile and um, nothing too spectacular, but I got some pecan and uh, let's see here. Oh, there we go. I got some cherry chunks left over for my my last cook so we'll be uh, taking care of business uh, properly and keeping with the theme I got these uh, Weber baskets uh, you know these things hold up cook after cook uh, I leave them outside uh, they're tough they last a long time guys uh, get yourself one of these grates that has a hole in the middle I'm gonna be dumping that charcoal in the middle throwing in the chunks of wood around it and then I'm gonna put putting the thighs around the perimeter should be pretty easy and as always, guys, keep track of those temperatures with an instant read thermometer like this one from Thermopro. I'm going to leave a link down in the description. This has become my favorite in recent months, or actually years, I guess. Go get you one. This one's mine. Okay, guys, I got the rice cooker ready to go. Um, we're going to cook some extra rice for another dish uh, Sassy wants to make. But we got about five cups of rice in there. And... Um, Hey, this thing is so easy to use, guys. Uh, even I could use it. Uh, you just put the rice in there, you press a button, and uh, voila, you're gonna have steamed rice in about uh, 15 or 30 minutes later. All right, guys, while we get that Weber up to temperature, get the rice cooking, get the vegetable simmering that Sassy's uh, made up, I wanna do an announcement for you guys that we've started a new channel called... Three Days Away. Three Days Away. Now, <laughs> we like to travel, we like to camp, Recently, we bought a Polaris Razor, so we like to go off-road. We like to tinker around, do stuff that may not necessarily have anything to do with cooking. So, what better place than to make another channel to share that stuff with you? Um, it's not going to hurt the YouTube algorithm because this is a barbecue channel, and we're going to put that stuff where it belongs on another channel. And then, I don't know, we got some other camping trips planned. Yep. Uh, and we're always looking for new camping trips, so guys, if you're local to Southern California, Hit us up in the description, give us some suggestions for camping spots. And that is hit us up in the three days away page. Again, guys, it's here on YouTube and I just want to let you know about it so you don't miss a thing. Yeah. And it's not always going to be in the camper. I mean, you know. Sure. Anytime. Three days away is three days away. We have three day weekends quite a bit uh, once in a while. And so, and many of you can't really take off for a week or two either. Figure three days away, you're always three days from somewhere or you have just about three days to enjoy a nice uh, long weekend. So that's kind of why we did the theme. We might fly somewhere, drive somewhere, who knows guys, but we're gonna take you along with us. Yep. 
All right, guys, this is uh, what these thighs look like out of the uh, bag. This is all we need. And um, next stop, Weber Grill. All right, guys, this smell is amazing. This pecan and cherry wood in there. You know, the temperature looks a little bit high. You know, I've closed off both vents a little bit, kind of bringing it down. And once it's about 350, I'm gonna throw that chicken on there and go kind of slow. Let's get these on. Okay, I'm gonna just go around the perimeter. Now, what I love about this kind of grill is uh, it really doesn't matter what side you put it on, you should be getting even heat just about everywhere. And uh, there we go, close it up. Now guys, one of the mistakes I've made in the past is by leaving the lid on a charcoal grill like this Weber here, open too long, the briquettes flame up, get too hot. So pro tip, and I'm not a pro, but I learned from experience, keep that lid on as much as possible, guys. If you're looking, you ain't cooking. All right, guys, it's uh, been about 20 minutes. Uh, oh, what's this? Hey, guys, sometimes uh, got to see how the other people live, so I'm doing a little wine. Okay, let's uh, check out this temperature here. Okay, I'm going to go with this one over here. Uh, looks like about 141 in there. I'm in the thick part, 145. Over here, I'm looking about, uh, oh, 154. So... Really, these are done, guys. Um, these are thighs. Uh, I'm going with the newest standards of the FDA, which uh, you know you don't need to take chicken to 165 no more, guys. That's that's a farce. Um, this one's a little bit cooler, so I'm just gonna sneak that up a little bit, sneak them both up just a little bit. But uh, you know, I'm gonna cover the lid. I'm gonna crank open the vent. And I'm just going to do maybe five more minutes, high heat, and then they're coming off. Okay, so guys, I don't want anybody accusing me of not eating our vegetables. Look at that. Look at that beautiful vegetable medley that uh, um, Sassy made. <laughs> I forgot my name. <laughs> and the uh, nicely seasoned steamed rice, a little pat of butter there and some herbs right there. Babe, what kind of herbs do you have on that rice? Garlic, parsley, and butter. Okay. But we all know who the uh, star of the show is, and this is beautiful chicken breast here uh, with that beautiful Indian seasoning. And baby, what was the name of that seasoning? It's a chicken shawarma. Hey, uh, it, it's, it smells great. We love curry food. Now this doesn't have the sauce, okay, for you keto people, um, if that's even a concern. Um, so baby, let's go <laughs> ahead, take that bite. Now we uh, finish these off to about 155 on the inside. So there should be no doubt these are done. Let's see the inside of that, baby. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And again, I use the pecan and cherry, and, and it just looks so good, guys. Let's so good. Let's give it a, a little taste. It's nice and tender. Okay, baby. And juicy. And juicy. All right, what do you think? Pretty good? Mm -hmm. what, what, what hits you first? Tender juiciness of it. Juiciness? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that looks so good. And the herbs and spices. That shawarma. All those um, spice notes in there. Oh, man. Okay, so here comes taste tester number two. All right. You know, I, I love vegetables, um, but I love chicken even more. Ooh, a little bit of butter right there. Mm. Okay. Mmm. Oh my God, that marinade kind of made a kind of made it soft and juicy and tender. 
Oh yeah. I mean, these are chicken thighs, guys. These are gonna be soft, juicy, and tender anyway. Mm, I got shawarma. I taste the smoke. Do you, do you taste the smoke, babe? Yeah, definitely. So just a half hour on that Weber with a lot of fresh pecan and cherry, charcoal, obviously. Oh my God, I'm gonna scoop up some of these. Delicious seasoned veggies and rice. Mm. Oh my God, look at the dogs. Dogs are like, give me, give me, give me. Who's this? Mm, in the sunshine. That was really good, guys. Remember, don't be afraid to pick up some of that pre-marinated packaged meat at the store, especially the shawarma. And uh, get yourself some frozen veggies, keep them on hand. And it takes 20 minutes to steam yourself some delicious seasoned fried rice, well, steamed rice. Always perfect, Always. rice cooker. Always perfect, guys. So anyway, guys, we're gonna kick you out of here now. Wanna say thank you for watching this video, folks. If you're wondering how you can support us, it doesn't cost anything, absolutely free. Just hit that subscribe button, guys. And maybe as a bonus, share it on your social media, your favorite place. I share like it. Share it with your neighbors, your friends, your mama, your dada, daddy, whatever. Okay, guys, we're signing out. See you later.